okay this finished execution so let me quickly do a select star from products underscore hive to confirm the number of records that uh, got pulled by scoop from mysql into hive so i have 13 49 records and i have 13 49 here now let me quickly insert a couple of records on the mysql end okay i'm just going to uh, insert record number 13 78 and 1379 okay now let me run the scoop job again to confirm that these two records are pulled into hive when i run the scoop job and there is no duplication in place i should be getting only the two incremental records and not more than that okay so let me quickly provide the password and uh, so i need to see 1349 plus 1 plus 2 that is 1351 records in hive when the scoop job finishes so this is an example of incremental load now if you did not specify the parameters required for the incremental load the scoop job would have downloaded all the data from mysql again and created duplication in hive okay, as you can see now it is 1351 which is the exact count of records on the mysql end okay so i can now let's try to look at the next part of the problem so next part of the problem is to insert more records on mysql and then run the scoop job again i've already shown you how to do that once you can do this multiple times and scoop will continue to collect incremental records as long as you provide the product id appropriately the next step is to export data from hive table into mysql so this is a, this is opposite of it so we begin by inserting a couple of records into hive in order to do that all you need to do is copy the insert statement from mysql into hive it won't work as it is because hive uh, syntax is slightly different so first of all you need to say insert into table you need to use the keyword name table and then change the table name to products underscore hive and i'm going to increment the product id to the next logical value that is 1380 and then let me change some of the values so that um, i insert more records and demonstrate how to export all of these records into mysql from hive which is opposite of import okay so focus on this this is where most people have done have admitted that they have done mistakes during the exam so mastering the export command is equally important as mastering the import command now let me uh, insert another record here uh, now when i insert this record let's look at the count after we insert right now it is 1352 um, and then it should be 1353 after inserting this record okay so let me quickly check how many records exist over here it is 1353 good now the next part of the problem is asking you to create a new table in mysql i think the intent of the problem is that you export data from products underscore hive table which is in hive to the products underscore external table which is a newly created table on mysql so let me do a describe on this so here are the columns and uh, let me also do a describe on the products underscore hive table so that we can understand how these two tables are different now if you look at this both tables have product id as a primary key however the order in which the columns are available in both the tables is different okay so you will have to do some extra uh, configuration in order to make scoop understand how this mismatch in the order of the columns can be handled now let's try to write the scoop export command so all you need to do is say scoop export and then specify the table the table name here is uh, products underscore external or um, let me first tell you something okay so the place where products underscore hive table data is stored is users slash hive directory and subdirectories on the hdfs so let me show you that right now so this is user slash hive warehouse slash 
a directory named problem 5db because that is the database name you created and that is the convention dot db is a convention hive creates a folder name which which is equivalent to the database name if you look at this these are the files in hdfs as i mentioned earlier a few minutes back every stable that is stored in hive the data is represented in the form of files in the background in hdfs hive is giving you a logical access to that data which is stored in files as a table so that you can write sql queries now let's resume writing this scoop export command so username is retail dba password is cloudera we have done this a ton of times so by this time you should have these commands by heart okay only difference is here we are doing an export command instead of import command however whether it is export or import because you will be uh, either fetching or storing data into mysql the username password and connect are common parameters the next step is uh, men mentioning the export directory the directory from which you export data okay so i'm going to take this directory oh i think i did something wrong here while i pasted this so let me just remove this quickly and then paste it again so as as you have as you are seeing the direct export directory is a directory from which data needs to be exported from hdfs into mysql now if you look at the initial the problem description right the problem was to fetch data from hive into mysql now fetching data from hive is nothing but fetching data from the files that are stored in the background on hdfs okay so let me do a describe on uh, describe formatted products hive now i did this so that we can understand what are the line delimiters and if the file really stored as a text file yes and the line delimiters are not line and column delimiters are not explicitly specified over here that means hive is using defaults and let me show you what are the default characters okay so let me first do a cat on this folder on this file so that i can see the sample data okay now default because i'm experienced i can tell you clearly that the default character they have used is u0001 because that is what um, that is what this this text looks like so let me just uh, continue to write my scoop export command with 001 as my character now 001 is a notation it is not the character itself but 001 stands for some special character which hive uses as a delimiter for columns okay so let me do a scoop help on export so that i can copy paste some of uh, the parameter names which i'm not aware of and which i don't remember i'm aware of them but i don't remember right so let me do fields terminated by copy this and then here i'm going to say slash 001 because this is my um, uh, this is my field termination character or the delimiter using which two columns are separated now lines are terminated by a new line character uh, by default it is new line so i don't have to really mention because it seems like the table is following defaults right next is to provide um, the null characters okay so by default the null character is slash n however when you did the scoop import the table got null as a value okay so let me try to do n u l l so that when scoop is exporting it understands when it encounters a string named null that it should treat as a null while storing in mysql okay remember again here we are taking data from hdfs into mysql which is opposite of what you have done so far in the rest of the steps in the on, on the same problem okay so let me copy this paste it here and say null again now what is the next parameter the next parameter is we need to tell scoop how to handle when it encounters a record that is already existing on mysql so let's say you run the scoop job multiple times and there is a record existing on mysql so you are saying it's an update mode so what should scoop do should scoop fail or should scoop insert if the record does not exist and update when the record exists 
and then scoop does this comparison based on the product id field that is why i'm doing update key as product id the next step is the most important step this is to configure the order of the columns now let's try to compare both the tables again okay now the way this works is the destination table column names should be put in such a way that the position of the column let's say destination table column name product id i'm going to use product id in the first position in the columns string that means the first element or the first element of the hdfs file is product id in the mapping so in the next element that is product category id is the product category ID. that is why i'm copying the f names from the destination and not copying the names from source because in this column string the position corresponds to the source and the name corresponds to the destination okay so let me finish this quickly and then i am going to show you what to do next okay see it says the, the spelling of the image is different in the destination table i'm copying it from the destination always remember i'm repeating i'm sorry for repeating this but a lot of people have done a mistake on on this particular piece in the columns string the position corresponds to the source and the name corresponds to the destination that is how when the columns are not in the same order in source and destination you ensure this mapping forces that order when scoop is putting this data into mysql from hdfs file system now let me run this uh, i know why this failed this failed because we put a couple of additional hyphens and input non null string and fields terminated by so let me remove them okay it may still fail yeah it will because we did not specify the table name to which this needs to be exported right so we need to provide products underscore external as a table name now let me um, provide the table name somewhere anywhere like i can provide it at the end too so let me go go to the end and say table products underscore external now i hope you are following what is happening this is very very important as i mentioned earlier you can score 20 percent to 30 percent of marks during the exam just by going through this now uh, it exported only 317 records that is because in the export directory we have mentioned the file named instead of the direct name which is another mistake now watch out for such mistakes these kind of mistakes will cost you all the marks cloudera might be using some robotic scripts to validate your solution and the scripts always require the solution to be accurate that is why they mentioned the word accurate in the exam description as well now this finished execution now let's try to compare let's see how many records were pulled it's 1353 records and let's see how many records got stored in mysql okay let's go external 1353 which kind of tallies right the source had 1353 you want to confirm let's try to confirm the source again products underscore hive 1353 and the destination had 1353 now let's try to insert more records into source uh, let me put another uh, record 1382 and let me insert another one okay now we should have more records let me do a select start from products as you can see i have 1355 records now let me run the scoop job again now when i run the scoop job the expectation is the scoop job only adds two additional records and updates the remaining on the destination side okay so when i do a select count start from here i should have 1355 records I do have 1355 records on the source and on the destination. Now this completes 
step number seven there may be some minor steps there which are repetitive in nature and i'll let you do them problem scenario number five is also complete i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this will help you learn some concepts for your clouder exam and makes you successful during the exam thank you for watching stay tuned bye